talking by Keith's house. On a wind wobbling day inside Keith's house, when clouds clamoured on a mere grey sky, I sat on a bench racked by English rains, gazing on the metallic gravel leading to a black mulberry roving in front of the kitchen garden, and an outhouse claiming silence, the poet pen sitting under the plum tree, unatoned a sad face far away from the groove weights, enduring a swirling heat, checking out messages. I am on hyshes, reading odes, hoping that on his way home, every poet finds a muse, stopping by Keith's house.